What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another standard video here on YouTube or Twitch, wherever you guys are watching. And today we're taking a look at a deck that was commissioned by Eric J. Uh, it is a Sultai deck uh, that he, he titled Sultai Stuff, so I just kept the name. I kept the name. Um, <clears throat> so... I mentioned to Eric that this is a similar a similar deck I played uh, at the beginning of the format. And he was like, yeah, that's fine. And then he said, um, I made a choice not to go with Wild Growth Walker, uh, mostly because I had Sweepers in the main, like two Ritual of Soot. Um, but we do have a lot of other creatures that are going to get killed by Ritual of Soot. So, And then he said, other considerations I had when I made it was Rejuvenator over District Guide. Uh, but he liked the fact that he was guaranteed to land with the District Guide. I also like that. I'm not super keen on the one Blood Fast in the main, nor do I like the Doom Whisper or Lich Split is ideal. Um, <clears throat> I agree with that. In fact, in my experience, Doom Whisper was just better than Lich. Uh, it's a significantly harder card to get through. And despite the fact that Lich is pretty hard to deal with, um, it's not great on the ground. Like, a lot of things just... Like, if you go Underworld li Underrealm Lich and they go Doom Whisperer, you can't even attack. So, it's unfortunate. Do I... Does my voice sound... Does it sound... It sounds pretty bad, doesn't it? Does it sound bad? I don't know how bad it sounds. I can just hear it in my head, so... <clears throat> it's no good. It's no good. Good times. No, it's not good times though, right? That's the thing. So, anyway. My concern is that one of the best cards in this deck ended up being Find Finality. <coughs> this is going to be rough. I don't know if I'm going to I don't know if we're going to be able to do it. We're going to we're going to try. Find Finality is one of the best cards in this in this in this archetype, and um, because basically even if you don't Finality, you're still it's basically a divination, a green black divination for one less mana. So it's draw two for two, so that's pretty good. Um, the other great card in this matchup is Golgari Find Broker, uh, which gets even better with Muldrotha, I think. So, I don't actually know if I want the Ritual of Soots in the main deck. I also think we can cut the Under Realm. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to add one more Doom Whisperer. Cut the, cut the Liches. And we're going to add <clears throat> Flying Brokers. So, like, you're trying to get card advantage with the Blood Fast, but I think we can just do it with Fine Broker and with uh, with Fine Finality. So, we can also cut one Vraska's Contempt for now. I don't think you need those in the Chupacabra, but Chupacabra becomes better all of a sudden if you have Ravenous or uh, Feinberger. <clears throat> How does Bustin make me feel? Makes me feel good. I'm about to bust. I have drafted 21 Feinbergers, yes. None of those were purchased, so that's uh, that's pretty funny. Um, everything else is very good. I don't think we need this many district guides, though, especially when we have Ritual of Soots. I would cut one district guide. And I would also cut one Muldrotha. I don't think we want three six-drop Muldrothas in the deck and two Vraskas. Um, but I would add two Find Finalities to the main deck. And I would presume that they go here. Um, maybe we just add one District Guide back. I think that's actually fine. And I would try it like this. So we took out two Undercity, Underrealm Liches, a Muldrotha, a Vraska's Contempt... And the Argyle's Blood Fast, and we added these two, these two, and one of this guy so far. And I think that's fine. We're not adding anything that dies to Ritual of Soot, so that's good. I think we're going to try it like this. And it's funny because the blue is kind of like... Uh... Also, <clears throat> it's worth noting we only have six blue sources in the deck. It goes up to 10 if you include District Guide, but that's still not a ton when you need two for River's Rebuke. So, let's see what happens. We're going to have to play a match first and see how that goes. Hot 
happened? This what? Why did you resize? Ah, oh, it's so infuriating. Come on down. All right, that should be good. Close it. Open it. All right. <coughs> How I feel some chicken soup right now? I would not I would not begrudge some chicken soup, that's for sure. I will play first. Is Chemistry's insight gonna list like this? Maybe. But I don't know if we want more four drops is the problem. So like in the in this in the Sultai deck that's barely splashing blue, the one island six non island cards are uh, it's not where you wanna be. It's not where you wanna be. This hand's better. I'm not super sold on it, but it's fine, I guess. I will keep this hand. And I will keep you as well. So the problem with Chemister's Insight is that black and green really doesn't need that kind of card advantage, right? Like, you're much better just going with Fine Broker or Fine Finality. Um, because they're just stronger. Like, <clears throat> this guy going onto the board and getting you a card back is basically the same two for one for four mana that you're getting from... Um, a chemist's insight, you see. Um, yeah, we'll play this guy. So even if they kill this, it's nice because then we get it back. Um, oh, that's not going to be great in this matchup. Uh, you're probably not going to be great either, and I can get you back with Fine Broker now next turn, which is good. So everything works out. Everything's going at Millhouse. Oh my, my pants are soaked, but my, my feet are soaked, but my cuffs are bone dry. Everything's coming up, Millhouse. <laughs> chicken noodle or chicken lemon rice? <laughs> oh man, I did not get churches the other day. <clears throat> Billy, I'm gonna let you pick, buddy. That is totally up to you. I did not get churches, but I'm still looking forward to my churches experience. Especially because they have, like, baked macaroni and cheese there. Like, they have macaroni and cheese, and then they bake it. Oh, man. That's uncommon for, for fast food chains, especially. Yeah, Josh, the biggest... Yeah, the biggest takeaway is that there are a lot... There's a lot of competition for that four-drop spot. That's the biggest issue. Because you're, you're, you're never going to hear me complain about Chemistry's Insight. That card's good. Hmm. Hmm. Do we just find broker into branch walker? Probably. They don't have anything here. I'd rather just get some pressure on the board. And then next turn I can play two guys, so we're gonna do that. I hope they don't lightning bull us. <laughs> lightning bull us? Lightning bolt us. I hope they don't lightning nickel bull us. All right, got him. Yeah, I almost like Rejuvenator better here. I, I mean, a District Guide is a more uh, consistent card, but the odds of not hitting a land in the top five is pretty low. And being able to ramp from three to five is pretty huge here because you can just play Doom Whisper on four. And then, like, obviously you have a bunch of six drops that you want to be able to play. So being able to play those earlier is significantly better. Well, this guy's fashionably late to the party. Although they could have Sinister Sabotage. I guess we're just attacking here first. Because if they want a Lightning Bolt here, then they probably can't count. They probably can't counter Chupacabra. Famous last words. Okay. Well, that's fine. <clears throat> Lightning strike. Oof, taking seven, huh? All right, now I feel more comfortable at this. I don't think you're going to have an essence scatter. Nope. 
Nope, just the radical ideas. All right. Alrighty then. All right, we got lethal on board. For for all the good that does, they have double phoenix in the graveyard. Are we dead? So they can't crackling Drake and kill us with crackling Drake because uh, they don't have they can't play a crackling Drake and three instants and sorceries. Coming into my workplace straight through the corner corneas corneas oh corneas that's good I you know I've never seen cornea pluralized like that and that's interesting maybe I have via my iMac O Matic two thousand in the year. <laughs> What a treat. What a treat. Quagger, welcome back, buddy. Always appreciate it. You know what you did. I do. I have an idea. I cultivated our beautiful friendship, and now here we are. <clears throat> you got that chicken, lemon, rice, syrup, which is not a real thing, by the way. Guys, I have the Tootsie Roll song. Stuck in my head. And it's no bueno. Or is... All three of these dudes just floating out of the graveyard at the same time was pretty crazy. I was like, oh! If we kill one, they just go block, 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 and they kill both of our guys. Well, that's no good. We also give them a land. <laughs> that's that's good that's good <clears throat> that's uh that's a solid meme i'm i'm amazed how close that poll actually was i wish this was exile can you imagine if assassin's trophy was exile killing one doesn't do anything it just gets three more points through right so Bobby Miser, I'll 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 forgive it. Yep, this is fine. I'm definitely gonna kill this guy to keep up my assassin boy, my my fine broker here. And then we're just gonna play Branch Walker, I guess. Um. I'll play this guy. It's a better use of mana. We also want to hit a blue just in case we draw like a Moldrotha. I'm really getting used to Raspy Cowboy. For hey, partner. How you doing? Welcome to the wasteland here. Well, butter my biscuits, ladies and gentlemen. I spent a lifetime smoking, and uh, that's just how we do it here in the, in the, in the Midwest. I don't know. Oh, do boy. What a revolting development. Tootsie Roll, chocolate chew. Tootsie Roll, I could also take some medicine and get real, like, medicine loop. Wow, they're just killing everything. What was that two spells you played? Here comes the third spell. Oh, here we go. Yep, this deck is real fun. This is a fun card. I'm glad Wizards printed this card. I'm glad I'm glad we're gonna have to deal with this. We were so ahead and now we're oh look, that's exactly why we did this. And now we take nine. Uh which I'll be honest, I don't think uh we're in any position to be able to deal with that, so hopefully they don't have a way to deal us two points of damage. Here we go. Here we go. Hope you don't have a shock or a lightning strike in your hand. Oh, you did. Lucky, 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 lucky. How nice. How nice. Okay. Oh, boy. Uh, cheddar baked potato soup always wins as long as it doesn't have bacon in it. If you can veto the bacon uh, that people love putting in baked potato soup, I am game. I'm 100% game.
God, none of these cards exile. Like, I want to be able to exile a stupid idiot, right? Like, exile your phoenix. Get it out of here. I think you want Unmoored Eagle on the sideboard specifically for this matchup. And I think it's actually just better than Spyglass, right? Like, whatever you're going to name with Spyglass, you just want to... Yeah, we'll take the Rivers Rebuke out as well. Wow, get a load of Braggs McGee over here in the chat about, about their, their baked potato soup. <clears throat> I, I like this guy in the deck. They can just block it with two Phoenixes, though. Like, the Phoenix is so stupid. I do like Blood Operative, but I don't think we have... Like, we have no Surveil here. We have just Doom Whisper for Surveil. So, like, it's it's hard to, to justify that, unfortunately. Oh, yes, yeah, so definitely email me some, some, some soup. That'd be gas. <clears throat> the Phoenix is terrible. It's utterly miserable to play against. Thank you. T. Ravis, thank you so much. Welcome back, buddy. Appreciate it. Preach, as the kids say. Ugh, I'm just going to submit like this. It's nothing. There's nothing we can even really do. Vraska's Contempt is one of the best answers to the Phoenix. Um, I'll keep it. Any green in this hand is great. Oh, God. Famous last words. Oh, that's a good point about the, the exile in the card from a graveyard. I did forget about that, actually. That is valuable. Nope, that's not what we're looking for here. All right. So I think we're dead. <laughs> uh, I also like Death Gorg. Well, I wouldn't want... No, well, Scavenger Grounds is hard because it rotated out with Hour of Devastation. So I don't really want to get disqualified. <laughs> Death Gorge Raptor. Is that what it's called? Death Gorge Scavenger? Whatever the... Um, whatever the, the dinosaur is that exiles a creature card from the graveyard. That guy seems like it's definitely worth it. And it might even be better than Jade Light Ranger at this point. I'm a dumb. No way, Josh. You're great. <clears throat> oh, we're so good at this game. How did we get this good? I ask myself this every day. Sometimes I'll sit in bed at night and I'll just ponder and I'll be like, Frank, how did you get this good at Magic the Gathering? You're clearly like the best player that's ever walked the earth. And it's like, it's not even close. You know, it's just a... And, and then, you know, and then I really, I really appreciate the humility that I exert about about my skills you know so and you know it's just you guys are really lucky that uh that i'm here for you every day streaming it's just a it's tr it's a treat for you and it's a treat for me everybody wins yep we're definitely killing this guy with a non Vraska's contempt card Whatever it is, I think I see. <clears throat> oh, look at this. Look at this Rally McZally. I'm going to Eldest Reborn here, and we're going to knock it out of the park. You guys ready for this? This is going to be gas. See you later. Bye. What about never happened for this matchup? I don't know. Never happened. Uh, re never, never happened does exile. It's relevant. Is Unmoored Ego just feels better, right? It exiles the cards, right? Because like I don't want to, I don't want to only hit the 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 phoenixes that are in your hand. I want to hit any future phoenixes as well. Deck needs Lazav for sure. Yeah, that's what I was thinking it was missing too. You know, a Lazav on this board would be sick because, oh wait, no, we have zero creatures in our graveyard. That's right, my bad. Oh yeah, this game's, I feel like this game is over now. Oh, an Arclight Phoenix in the graveyard, huh? 
Well, that's cute. This guy's going to get shocked, I bet you. 100% get shocked. Oh, I have a shock in my... Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Um... I don't care about Braska's Braska Braska's contempting this guy. I'm just gonna play Doom Whisperer. Because next turn we can actually get back Ral's Eric or Ravenous Chupacabra. That that's probably less exciting than getting back a Ral. Got a cold? No, this is just my normal voice now. This is just how I sound. No, I, I don't know if it's a cold per se. Like, my nose isn't stuffed up. I'm not like, I don't feel sick. I just have a really bad throat. I got a really shit throat today, guys. Um, What are we getting back here? Crackling Drake could also be good. Just draws us a card. We can also just take their Arclight Phoenix, which is kind of comical. I'm pretty sure it's Ral Zarek. Ral is advice. I'm always going to call him Ral Zarek because that's his name. That's what his mother calls him. Um, Zero instance. Okay, so that's not an option. I'm going to take one, two, three. We have one, two, one, two. We can't do everything. Dang. Might as well take district guide here. They have one phoenix in the graveyard. I kind of want to kill this thing. Could have actually put them to six, and then they have to find an answer next turn, but whatever. Sure. You got that little turd. Here we go. One. One. Try to course discard Arclight Phoenix number two, undoubtedly. Two spells. No, no second Phoenix. <coughs> Scry does not get a, a Phoenix in your graveyard. Ral Lazav Bolas. Okay, so um, probably marry Bolas because Bolas would like get me. I mean, like Bolas is is, a, is in a, a strong position of power, so I can't really see. Um, yeah, that was rough. We could have we could have surveilled a bunch there, but I didn't expect them to be able to kill a six six. I guess that was my own mistake. Yep, that's a good one. Whatever it is, I think. Uh, yep, let's use this ability. Green, green, black, 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 black. Get a green, or get a black, rather. Um, I'm not attracted to it, per se, but I mean, like, if I'm going to have to marry one of these these weirdo magic creatures uh, that are not even the, the sex that I would prefer... Then you know I'll I'll, I'll just I'll, you know I'll make the best of the bad situation, right? Uh, Lazav, I'd probably kill because kind of a weirdo. Let's be honest. Doesn't seem like uh, he seems like a like a like he's a Demir weirdo. Let's be honest. Like it's just a it's a weird Demir dude. More like De Weird, am I right? And I guess Shag would have to be Ral because Ral's an attractive gentleman. That's a, that's a good looking guy. So what are you gonna do? <clears throat> Alright, so we're going to cast this. I'm going to counter this. Got Essence Scatter. Oh, and just game game just ends. End of the game. I guess once you have their Ral Zarek and you play Moldrotha, you're good to go. Mmm. Lazav could be anything, though. That's a good, that's a selling point. I'm going to give you that. One try to make me do this without making a <laughs> Oh, Billy, you are the hero this stream needs, buddy. I'm going to open this window now just so I know when things... That's... Man. I feel like you guys single-handedly keep me alive sometimes. Oh, actually, you do. I mean, this is a job, so... You know, that's actually a truth. 
<sighs> Billy, really, Billy, Billy, you are awesome, dude. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh man, you know, good times. That's a real thing. I was here for Pot Pie Gate, and the dual chickens were glorious. I was like, I don't see any pot pies in here. Uh, Ritual of Soot seems pretty bad. I don't know why I left those in. I want to bring in the, a Carnage Tyrant and probably a Plague Crafter. Actually, maybe I like multiple Plague Crafters here. Um, maybe. <clears throat> it's probably better than one of the district guides, right? We'll see. We'll see what happens. Also, I do like that Find Finality ends up killing all of their things. That's nice. Whatever it is, I think I see. Becomes a tootsie roll to me. If you guys... Oh, my God. Well, I can't believe you just ordered me food, buddy. I will keep this hand. Are we going to win? Are we going to beat this deck? This stupid Phoenix deck? <laughs> uh, I don't think there's a command that lists Eclipse. That would be amazing. Because not a lot of them are good, right? Like, sometimes people just hit the clip button. They don't actually clip anything. They're just testing it out. And then they could just end up with, like, two minutes of literal nothing. So, Doom, de de dead weight, dead weight, dead weight, dead weight, dead weight, dead weight. Assassin's Trophy number two, huh? I really don't want to Assassin's Trophy this guy, but he's pretty good. A potato, I have a block of cheese and some water. You wanted a uh, macaroni and cheese, right? Yeah, it's a DIY restaurant. You gotta make it. You gotta make it yourself. What do we look like? You're, you're slaves. Cook, make your own food. It's a learning experience. It's artisanal. Did I just kill this guy? Oh god. Oh, so there's not gonna be there's not gonna be a list of clips that get assigned a command, but there is a command page. So, I actually don't know what to do here. Do I give them one extra mana forever, or do I let them just go crazy with this guy? These are the questions we ask ourselves. I think I'm going to pass here. I think Assassin's Trophy is better suited for drakes and things. Oh, Stuffed Pepper sounds legit. God, I really wish this Tootsie Roll song was not stuck in my head. And it's not even the the like the the hip hop song from the nineties. Oh <clears throat> What are we doing next turn? This is nice because they might have played a shock or might have had a shock and Yeah, I'll just keep both of these. And by both of these, I mean one of these. These pretzels are making me thirsty. Oh, see, like they didn't even attack first. They're like, I don't even want to dis. I don't. I want to discard. Yep, lava coil chart, other thing. You got it. Take five. Take five, like the 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 Dave Brubeck jam. Well, I kind of want to hit a land here so I can Assassin's Trophy. What are the odds of that happening? Pretty low, right? Uh, graveyard. And graveyard. That did not go as planned. I think we're dead here. <laughs> Doesn't feel... No more cube. The cube is gone today. Uh, I think next week the modern cube starts. And then up and through January, next week is the modern cube. The week after that is uh, 
not the week after the modern cube, but the week after the modern cube ends is the vintage cube. So like, it's actually the next few months are pretty cube centric. Definitely getting rid of this guy now. I wish, see this island is really problematic because we have assassin's trophy. Like, I definitely don't think the deck wants two islands in it. Uh, not really. I, I mean, Time Spiral's a, definitely a good draft format, but I'm not super interested in it as... I do have... I also have things to take. Like, I also have deck critiques that I need to be doing, so it's not like it's... I can't just draft all the time. Yes, I can. All right, here we go. Radical ideas. Radical ideas again. Okay. Yep, another phoenix in the graveyard. This is what we were concerned with. <sighs> so we got a two here yeah we're probably just dead yep yeah all right <clears throat> we tried um so yeah i actually am a bigger fan of the i think ritual of soot is sideboardable like i don't think it actually does enough of what you want in the main deck especially against the stupid arc like phoenix deck um I would definitely add another Vraska. I think Vraska's Contempt is where you want to be right now as far as, like, removal spells. Uh, I'm going to take out this. I, I just don't think it's better than, like, uh, a Drowned Catacomb. And, like, at this point, like, you just don't need five forests. Like, you just rather would have Hinterland Harbors. One, two. And you can take out basics. Like, you just don't need this many forests. Um, same thing with Swamps. Like, you just... You have so many lands that actually add to these that, like... Also, Watery Grave is very, very good. I would definitely play a watery grave over one forest. And you still have six basics to search for with, with District Guide. Not sure if District Guide is pulling its weight, though. What was the card we said we wanted in, like, the three spot? Hmm. I don't know. I forgot. Alan, that was, like, the quickest nap ever, buddy. That was the quickest nap. Well, we have on Ego in the sideboard. So we did get that. Uh, no one has requested a Thousand Year Storm deck yet. Yet. Um, so we have one more slot here, but I'm, I'm tempted to cut some of the district guides. That they're oh, let's try Rejuvenate Elf Mystic. What's it called? Rejuvenator? Rejuve? Yeah, let's try this guy. Might as well. I'm also sick. Haha, -ha, I'm trying not to cough, though. I guess I'm not trying. It's not something I'm actively doing. But... We need one more card. Um, oh! Uh, blood. Blood Boy. <laughs> yeah, Blood Operative. Right, right, right. Let's do that guy. Let's try two Blood Operatives, and we can cut one Rejuvenator. Yeah, I like that. We don't have a ton of surveil, but I think it's fine. Actually, I want to be real. I don't think you even need the I, once we cut, once we cut district guide. You don't actually even need the island. You can just add another watery grave because it's just a better land. It turns on woodland cemeteries and hinterland harbors and drowned catacombs. So I think it's actually fine with no islands. You're only, you're only splashing for like three three blue cards, so. Let's try this. Wait, what happened? Am I missing a card? What's going on? 60. What? Oh, I have 17, 17 card sideboard. I added the ritual of set and averaging anything out for it. <laughs> I don't actually think you need Rex Sage. Like, there's nothing really you care about. And you have Assassin's Trophy uh, and Vraska to deal with things like that. So I can take out one Rex Sage. I can also take out one Thought Erasure, probably, because we already have three negates. All right, 
I was like, why why didn't we? Why is our deck suddenly illegal? Uh, the blue sideboard cards. Yeah, I think the double blue sideboard cards are definitely good enough, and we're also playing a Maldratha deck. So, um, if you take out the blue, you take out the entire point of the deck. Um, furthermore, uh, we cut the island, so we solved the specific problem that we were dealing with. So, I mean, if one of your fingers is infected, you don't cut off your whole arm. You just you cut off the finger. So that's what we did. Any decks out there that you think are worth trying out? What does that mean, though? Like, how do you mean Rogue Optic? I think we're mulliganing this hand. <laughs> I would, If I knew there was a land on top, I'd keep it, but... Yeah, this hand's good. I'm going to put you on the bottom, because I don't need you yet. Oh, interesting. See, now we wish we had the... Both the dead weight and the Ritual of Soots. Oh, I like Death Gorge. That's what that's what it was. Death Gorge Scavenger. Scavenger Death Gorge. Yeah, this guy. Yeah, all right. That is definitely a consideration. Probably better than Blood Operative, actually, for what our deck wants. <laughs> uh, I'm like, I don't go by rank here, but, you know. Uh oh, here we go. It's all downhill from. Are you gonna play two on there? <whistles> Yikes! So these just uh, pay for themselves. So he draws two cards, spent two cards. But if we cast down, it's still a one for one. So So playing MTGO in Brazil is a mess nowadays. I wonder why. I wonder why. Unless I'm missing something. Oof. Yeah, those. That's rough. Everyone's yeah. Everyone's transitioning to arena because you have to imagine there's probably a pretty small pool of uh, of Magic Online players in Brazil already. Um. But then, like, the dollar spiking, it's like, oh, cool, magic just costs infinite more dollars. I'm literally playing Gears because buying ticks is unreal at the moment. Ugh, gross. I'm going to cast this guy down. I'm going to do it now. All right, let's see. Let's let's see if this guy is all that he's cracked up to be. I'm a brewer. I took a big hit. Oh yeah, same. All right, don't whiff. Can you imagine if we if we whip if we whiff once with this guy? I'm probably done. I'm like I'm out. Forget it. You suck. There we go. We did it. Second green source. Exactly what we wanted. That's good stuff.
Yeah, like it's weird that you can't dust or sell cards on Arena. It's funny because like you look at a game like Hearthstone, right? And Hearthstone, you can only have one unique or one legendary card in your deck, like of of that type, right? So like, um, let's say like a Death Knight, I can only have one Death Knight in my deck of that particular character, or that card. So it's a one of, right? You only need, you only need to get one copy of it, uh, and every other card is two of, right? You can have two copies of any other card, and you have thirty card decks. So it's 30 cards, two maximum of anything, and then one of your legendaries. So it's really easy to get. 30 cards is not hard to build. Now you look at a magic deck that's 60 cards. You can have four of every card, and you have multiple copies of mythics and rares. But like with Hearthstone, if I don't use the specific legendary, I can just dust it and get credit for that. I can get uh, a, par a partial return on this card, which will help go toward my 30 card deck, which is already small. We're on magic. We're on arena. You can't dust your cards, and your decks are already prohibitively larger, and you already need significantly more of of the uh, applicable rares and mythics. So it's just a weird system where like, oh, do they get to counter this? Oh, it's each opponent. It doesn't target. That's pretty nice. One, uh, two. Half the deck is land that's... Okay, I appreciate the Kappas. Yeah, because, like, you're still paying... Like, the lands are still super pricey. <clears throat> I'm also looking forward to Artifact, but I'm also wondering... Like, I don't know. I've been watching some Artifact coverage... And I worry there's too much going on. Like, you're, like, switching between, like, three separate games, and it's like, what's even happening right now? I don't know. I could be wrong. I could be totally wrong. Could be totally fine. Monday was sore throat. Tuesday was sneezing and fatigue. Today is cough and fatigue, but basically better every day. That's life. That is some sick life, my friend. I totally forgot that that Billy ordered me food. That's, that's pretty comical. Oh well, I guess Ravraska's contempting this guy. I don't really feel like dying to this, but I also don't really feel like <sighs> this guy killed me. So we're gonna have to we're gonna be able to grab something back. Yeah, Fu, I was thinking of that too, because I don't know what to do here. I'm very confused. I it's it's definitely killing one of these because I don't want to take seven next turn. I think it's actually killing this guy. Well, let's use a black because that seems better. And if they have like counter spell or something, it's just terrible for us. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty brutal. I think we're probably dead now. Oof. What do we 
even get here? <laughs> None of these cards are actually that impressive for us. I guess we'll just get Floaty Blocker Boy. We have two cards in hand. How do we win this game? I don't think we do. Yep. All right. So... Let's try again. Oh my god, stop it. Stop it. Yikes. That's brutal. I just got a text message that says my order is on the way. Oh, that's pretty hilarious. I could counter that because it targets me. But I think we know where that goes. All right, so we're definitely bringing in Plague Crafter here. Ritual of Soot seems like gas here. Um... God, we have so much removal that I'm really surprised that things went the way they did. <laughs> like, huh. Rejuvenators. Well, if the, 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 the deck is all good cards, then yeah, I guess that's true. I guess that's fair. <coughs> I will keep this hand. <laughs> oh, man. All right, I got to keep a lookout for food incoming. Billy, you are a lifesaver, buddy. I appreciate it. Again, though, I hope it's not a, back, a box of macaroni and a, and a brick of cheese, because that would be... Boy, wouldn't that be uh, on, on point for this stream? Hoping, hoping to hit some lands here. The problem is next turn they can go like Curious, Curious Obsession and also play uh, Dive Down. I would legit find a way to short Grub Up Seamless Stock if that happened. <laughs> oh, man. That's, that's commitment right there. I will take one. Assassin's Creed. <laughs> I mean, Assassin's Trophy. Basically the same thing. Well, biscuits.
Oh, good. How nice. All right. We need one land, and then we're good to go. Another little cutie. All right. Come on, land. This deck also, I mean, we have multiple six drops. This deck also wants, yeah, 25 lands, I believe. Do we just need another another green source? Do we just go overboard? I don't think so. What is this? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This is 15 green sources. Oh, hold on. Give me one second, guys. I'll be right back. All right, we did it. We got some food here, guys. <laughs> oh, All right, let's go back to our game. That's not it. This is also not it. None of these things are it. All right, we did it. So, one problem is that if we try to kill this guy, they'll redirect. Or counter, I guess. All right, let's see what we got here. We got a little, I believe this is probably napkins. Yep, got a bunch of napkins, and some silverware. Three things of silverware. Seems a little excessive, but okay. Yeah. Got some crackers, classic. Oh, look at this beauty. We have a little it's like a it's like a drink holder, but it's got it's got a little it's got a little soup in one side. Which looks very good. And a little mac and cheese on the other. Billy is the hero we need, but not the one we deserve. live down on the farm wow morgan what's going on buddy always a pleasure i just had some food delivered because i was i have been uh less than ideal in terms of uh throat throat feels yeah i think we yeah i think this was a success we got some mac and cheese and some soup it worked out wow this looks actually very good um so i'm gonna kill this guy under the assumption that you will sack this to counter it or he'll just dive down it. Dive down it. Oof. I don't have two mana. I I did not get a land last turn, so. Although they are tapped out, so if we get to any land, eh, hey, we did it. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Beautiful. <clears throat> I caught soup and mac and cheese, and you are eating the best food ever. Yeah, that's perfect. Those are these are uh, two of the. Yeah, I agree with you. I don't even have a response. Oh man, I'm excited. Hold on. It's good. I might need to crumble some crackers in that bad boy. Billy, you are a kind soul. And I approve of. <laughs> like I get the cup and I open it and there's like a chicken in the cup. Well, this doesn't make any sense at all. 
All right, so I think we're just going to Vraska's Contempt this guy. Mm. Also worth noting that, um, like our opponent said, like, District Guy just dies to, uh, I guess you get the card, though. They both die. It's a Ritual of Soot, which was in the main deck, so I think Rejuvenator might be better just because you get the land into play, but that doesn't really affect... Like, they're both going to die. Both the 2-2 two -two and the 1-1 one -one are going to die to Ritual of Soot. And they both get you a card, so. Always diving down. Dive down is such a good spell. Like, I mean, for this deck, not in general. Man, this is definitely uh, appreciated. <clears throat> right, well, now we're going to do this. Like, you can't have spells forever, right? Right? God, he has so many spells, he has to choose which one to use. Oh, man. I'm so sad about... This, this card is just like... It's really surviving everything. You say that, but then they do. They always do. And that's true. A valid point, my friend. I'm also trying to eat away from the mic, so I'm not, like, bombarding you guys with food sounds. Some of you guys might might like the ASMR food sounds, but some of you might not be here for that, so. <clears throat> well, I guess we're just going to take another two. Copy this guy, put it in a thing, see what they're see what they're showing us. Ah. Oh. This is the link they shared with us. I guess I could just play this guy. I don't know what answer they'll have, but I also I feel like it resolves. I guess they have. They could have Wizards Retort, right? The sound of someone eating is the worst thing. There's definitely no... That's definitely not... That's definitely not true. However... I am aware that that is a feeling. Oh, that guy just resolved. All right, well... Sleep? Yep. Gonna be sleeping. Ah, uh, the old 18 dive down deck. 18 dive down dot deck. A classic. Oh, that guy's not gonna. Oh, boy. So they just sack this guy to... Oh my god, they're so big, dude. There's nothing we can even do here. Like, we play this, hit a land, and then we Vraska's Contempt. They counter it with this guy, right? Yeah, I think we're just dead here. It's rough, dude.
I mean, it's not really a chump though because we are we are actually killing it. However, If we can tempt the little flying guy, they will also pay the one to sacrifice it to counter a spell or ability that targets you or a creature you control. So they would actually counter the Vraska's Contempt both by sacrificing it and by the ability itself. And uh, we would not gain the life. So we would stay at eight and they would just kill us with this guy. So no bueno there. This is like both of these both of these items that, that Billy ordered us were uh, it's mono carbs and cheese. And I just got a macaroni on my shirt right now. You guys are witnessing serious magic happening right now. I think we're dead. But maybe they don't have a second sleep. Maybe that's the thing. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> That's true. That's actually a good point. Oh, actually. All right. Well, we're not dead. I don't think we're in a position to be uh, surveilling, but boy, I feel like we might want to. Oh, God. Just stop it. So we're going to surveil one because the difference between surveilling one and not surveilling, like we have to get rid of this guy or deal with it. And uh, going to four is not much different than going to two. <clears throat> All right. So I kind of just want to Jade Light Ranger to try to hit a fourth another land for contempt here and we did um you know let's put this guy on top because we do want to actually <sighs> i don't know how we win this game If you're all concerned with eating healthy, just for comparison, I made fried chicken and waffles and sausage and gravy for dinner last night. Well, that's certainly a thing, isn't it? Here we go. Don't have dive down number three. Uh, I'm cringing so hard right now. I guess we could have blocked and maybe they dive down and then we can't try to kill it. I don't think that's any good, though. Yep, we know we're drawing a Doom Whisperer, so we're actually dead. But I am going to play the Doom Whisperer and go out on my own terms here. So. Got him. Did we get him? I don't think so. All right, so. Um, 14 more dive downs. We got close, yeah. We almost, we almost wore him out of all the dive downs. Uh, I like Death Gorger Scavenger almost better than Jade Light Ranger, but I'm not sure. I definitely want another land. Breeding Pool would be great, but that's not a thing we can have. I'll add one more forest to the deck. I can understand why you want things like Ravenous Chupacabra and uh, over things like Vraska's Contempt when you have Muldratha in the deck. However, I don't think they're... I don't even like... I don't even know if I like Merfolk Branchwalker in the deck. Interestingly enough, is Blood Operative better than Scavenger? Both of these Exile cards. This is a 3 2, this is a 3 1 with Lifelink. Hmm. 
probably do, I think I just want one more of these to be honest but I don't know what to cut for anyway I'm wondering if a third dead weight is just better than cast I don't even know like I don't think we want four Vraska's contempts especially if we have blood operatives now Let's cut two of these. We'll add two of these guys. We'll also add one more. I want to add a third, but I don't know what to cut for it. Maybe a... Well, we can cut one Jade Light Ranger. I think that's actually fine. Alright, let's try it like this. I agree with you, Josh. I, I think paying five life is pretty bad there. Oh, dang it. So close. I'm not going to join just yet because I don't want to play against the um, the dive down deck just yet. That'll do. All right. I think the sand seems fine. We don't have a second green, which is nice, though, because we do have Death Gorge Scavenger, which we can use, and uh, we took out a Jade Light Ranger. So, when does Holiday Draft usually start? So, I went over this uh, next week, Modern Cube starts, and that runs for a few weeks. And then after that, the Vintage Cube starts. So, soon, relatively soon. Okay, well that's a that's a big that's a big boy. That's a lady. That's a good point. That is a lady. Oh, look at this. Death Gorge Scavenger already making his making a name for himself. No creatures in their graveyard, though, which is unfortunate. No anything in their graveyard. Hmm. I really don't want to just play this guy and have it get shocked. It also doesn't attack very well into Goblin Electromancer, so I'm just going to pass. But the synergy is chef's kiss. That's fair. That is fair. Oh, yes. This is it. This is the moment we've been waiting for, ladies and gentlemen. We're doing it. You got it, little man. Did I miss a land drop even after tormenting voice? Tormented voicing? They have to hit one now, right? There you go. There you go. Oh, that was a good hit. I want a second green. Yeah, look at this value we're getting already. I get to eat this uh, Arclight Phoenix. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I get to gain some life from it. Yes, please. That's great. Uh, I, I I have a scratchy throat. I'm not sick in a traditional sense. Like, I don't have a fever. I don't have... Uh, I don't feel sick. Like, I don't have a stuffy nose or anything. 
It's literally just just throat stuff. So. And I'm just going to have six here. I don't have any responses to anything, so. And they do, apparently. That's fine, but next time we can actually find finality to get that guy back and exile something else, which is super nice. This is why I like find finality, because it just gives you so much value. He's clearly hung over. Look at this guy. He's slurring his words. Keem stars? <laughs> oh, man. I think we just play Doom Whisper here. Yeah, I think this guy already paid off. Removing one of their win conditions, one of their few win conditions is... Also, chef's kiss. Muy bueno. Can you criticize my modern deck? Yeah, it sucks. Your modern deck sucks. Yeah, because the next set is great because you get Rakdos and you get Gruul. Um, I'm actually looking forward to the to the next set a lot. Like, in this set, you only have like particular archetypes. Like, you have Jeskai, which is a thing because you have Azorius and Boros, right? So you have the red, red, white, and the blue, white, which is two halves, two, two thirds of the uh, that shard. Uh, same thing with Sultai, because you have uh, Golgari and you have uh, Demir, so right. So you have two, but there's a lot of like, like Mardu is going to be cool because you get Rakdos and Orzov in the final set. Jund is going to be cool because you get Gruul and and Rakdos in the final set. So you get you get to flesh out the remaining. Um, the remaining thingamajigs. Hope you don't have negate. No negate. Oh, they didn't have negate. Destroy this dude. I'm just going to pass here. RPG Badger, I will definitely still be streaming, and I'm likely going to play your deck after this. So, Is the final set a big set? They're all big sets. There's no small sets anymore. Yep, this is why we didn't attack, because I don't want you to go shock sh attack with uh, Electromancer. So. This is actually Time Spiral. That's why it looks so different. For those just joining us, I also had food. Someone someone actually delivered food to me. So you get a partial muk, muk, mukbang. Muk you, get, you get one of those, too. It's a twofer. Yep, all right. If they're tapping out for these guys every turn, I'm totally fine with that. <laughs> we can also put two counters on this guy and then just wipe the board. And then make a pirate afterwards. Is it six rotis regens? <laughs> yeah, we had to up the order from last time. You know, like you do. All right, so... You know what? I'm pretty sure we're just going to wipe the board here with finality. Do I tend to chew on one side? Is it the... What side? Is it the right side or the left side? Because that's a weird thing to notice. I'm going to be honest, man. That's a weird thing to notice. Let's cast... I guess we attack first, right? Oh, what if it gets countered, though? <gasps> oh, biscuits. I don't think they have it. Oh, they might have something, though. Oh, no. Oh, they don't have anything. Okay, we did it. We, we survived. We survived. They might have it gate 2018. 
Let's cast. I'm gonna play a land first because if they have, I don't want to play. I don't want to lose to something stupid like Spell Pierce. Tootsie roll, roll with the chocolate eat you. Gonna play creatures all day with you. Whatever it is, I think I see. Gonna put this dude in the trash. I think we're in good shape here. Wait, what's beautiful? What did I miss? You could be refer you could be referring to anything. I have no idea. Oh my son! <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I'm kind of a, I'm kind of a big deal. <laughs> I don't like to brag. Yes, I do. Well, I guess they get rid of Vraska, but whatever. I'm gonna, dude. I'm gonna, I'm gonna surveil so much right now. You can't even handle this amount of surveilling. Are you ready? I want you guys to be ready. Uh, trash can top. So much surveilling. Basically done. Oh, we can actually get a dude back. I don't think we care about any of these dudes so far. However, the option is nice. That's two chickens done with. Two chickens out of the out of the out of the fryer. Out of the chicken fryer. I'm actually going to attack with this guy because you kind of have to block or you go to one. So I'd rather you just... I'd rather... I'll trade an Electromancer for a Merfolk Branch Walker. What are your thoughts on the Ultimate Box Towers upcoming Miles Master set? Um, You know what? I think I'm going to do... I think I'm going to do a little, a little talk about that. A little talk about it. However, on the, on the fly, my thoughts are like... I think they're cool. I like getting the the box toppers into um, into circulation. I think they're cool things to have. Uh, that being said, I don't like that they're called box toppers because it sounds like I have a box and this is just like a cover for it. You know, like it's just a weird name, box topper. Like it's just a weird, stupid name. I'm sorry. If you came up with the name, the name box topper, I apologize. I do not mean this is an offense to you. Um. However, it's just a weird name. Like box topper reminds me of like you know like yeah like how uh, for like tech for like certain things you have skins right like a PlayStation Four skin or a, a cell phone skin where it's literally just like a cover that you use. That's what a box topper reminds me of. Like I have this long box. It's a magic long box, and I'm gonna buy a box topper and put it on there. So, like, having one individual card and calling it a box topper, it just doesn't make any sense. Because I had no idea when I first heard this, I was like, I don't know what that means. What even, what the hell's a box topper? Oh, yes. Alright, so, basically, what you're telling me here is that I can get back nothing. I guess I'll pay a blue. Why not? Whatever it is I think I see becomes a Tootsie Roll to me. Tootsie Roll, my words of chocolate hate you. Tootsie Roll, I think I'm in love with This is just miserable. I'm so sorry you guys have to be subjected to this kind of nonsense.
Well, let's get this beacon bolt out of here. Got him. <clears throat> and I will attack for three. Again, if you want to trade, that's fine. Because you have to now. Now you just have to. Oh, God. Yeah, it's gotten significantly worse. The beauty has it's it's dissipated from this world. There we go. Yeah, a uh, longtime supporter and uh, actually a, a local friend of mine, Brett Hall, otherwise known as Bredicus Maximus, um, he actually got the Tarmogoyf, which is pretty insane. Yikes. Okay, well, they're just like, I'll play Crackling Drake and then I'll scoop. All right, so Unmoored Ego is what we, we actually added to the deck because I don't think you just need the Rejuvenators. I don't think you need anything. If like you're just playing land drops like normal, I think you're fine without them. I think you're okay without them. I also think Death Gorge Scavenger was MVP there. That was great. Getting rid of a Beacon Bolt and a uh, and a gentleman. What's the other gentleman's name? Arclight Phoenix. Good times. Good times. Yep, this hand is not keepable, unfortunately, so we're going to mulligan. This hand is definitely keepable, so we're not going to mulligan. You see how that works? Keepable, don't mulligan. Not keepable, you mulligan. These are the basic strategies we're teaching here. Also, a two drop or a dead weight would be nice. Let's start with this guy, because all of our other lands are green. So, <sighs> all right, Billy, a hundred percent. This has definitely helped. I feel less like, I don't know. I feel better. I appreciate your, your efforts as a human being. You have positively contributed to the world in a meaningful way. And I appreciate your existence. Good friend. Unlike, unlike this Goblin Electromancer, which has done nothing for anyone. So, let's Unmoor Ego you. This is never going to resolve. I pre oh, oh! I'll just name this spicy boy. Oh, awesome. You don't get to draw anything. Yet. Star of Extinction. What? Let's take out all of the Phoenixes. Nope. Let's make sure this, these hitboxes are correct. Is that all of them? Yes. Okay. Oh, man. I'm going to highlight this hand here because I don't know if I'm going to, if they're going to, I don't know if they're going to let me keep this info or not. All right. This is great because uh, they don't get to draw any cards. Yep. This does not show me the cards. That is sad. So they have Crackling Drake, Lava Coil, Shock, Star of Extinction, and a Mountain in hand. So. So they go Crackling Drake here. We kill it. All right. Seems good. And ya boy. I'm liking these lands. I'm not going to wait nor give them a chance to untap. So... So now we know Mountain is gone, Crackling Draco is gone, and Mountain is gone. So they shock, Starve Extinction, Lava Coil. Glad we could see the difference. I also made myself mac and cheese as it went all around. That's, man. Hey, buddy. We're just two bros eating mac and cheese on different sides of the world right now. That's all you need. This is too many drakes. 
Oh, well, I guess we just we I guess we have the same number of Raska's contempts. So, <laughs> oh well. Do we just what if what happens if we just kill all their win conditions? All you need is Mac, Mac. All you need is Mac and cheese. I actually don't disagree with that sentiment. Uh, for the most part, I am. I'm primarily a vegetarian. I eat chicken and turkey sometimes. That's pretty much where where it uh, where it ends for me. I do not eat a good amount of meat, but I don't know how that's real. Like like I have macaroni and cheese and soup here, so it's not like uh, those are not those are not non vegetarian dishes. You're gonna shock this guy. Okay, I'll allow it. Because I have to. Um, I'll put this guy in the graveyard, and I'll put this guy in the graveyard. I'm pretty sure most mac and cheese is not made with pork fat. <laughs> I, I don't think that's a super common ingredient for mac and cheese. So the shock is gone. Let's get rid of, it doesn't really matter, I don't think. We'll get rid of chart, of course. Oh, sure, it could be chicken stock. Yeah, that's fine. But, I mean, you know. All right, so we now have Lava Coil and Star of Extinction in your five-card hand. So we do need to draw some gas here. How could you be Bert Bert Air Bertatarian? Pork fat is the essence of I dis I disagree with you. Wow, you guys are dear God. Oh dear God. Oh Bertatarian is what you meant, I think. I got you. I got you. Wow. This is Ooh. Alright. You ready? It's gonna it's not gonna be a uh, land. Okay, that's actually That is an acceptable hit. Shock number three. Whew. All right, well, let's set some things up, I guess. Oh, oh yeah, keep. Keep again. That's a good one. So we know you have Lava Coil Star of Extinction still. Again, we want to play around Spell Pierce. I don't think it's a super high likelihood, but we have there's no real benefit to not doing so. Now you get to get rid of this guy. This is great because then we can get back a Jade Light Ranger, I guess. They could just play Star of Extinction here and kill our, No, they can't. That doesn't that's not how that works. So Lava Coil and Star are still the known cards in their hand. Okay. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Oh my god, they discarded Star of Extinction. That feels like a good uh, a good omen there. I think I'm likely going to uh, to surveil at least once here. I actually I that True Fire Captain Star of Extinction is pretty gas. Like, I'm a big fan of that interaction. Oh, I see. You're going to gain control of this guy. Well, then. This is awkward. I guess we have to find an answer to this, huh? All right. We'll keep a cast down on top. We will also cast down during upkeep. No, we can't do that. That's not how magic works. Okay. Well. So we don't have a lava coil in hand. That's the only thing we know about. Oh, it's draw step. It's draw step. It's draw step, but I have to put this on the on the stack anyway, so it doesn't even matter. I'm just going to get Jade Light Ranger. And assume you don't have the fourth shock. Ooh. 
Uh, we do have a stop on our draw step. The problem is this goes on the stack at the beginning of the draw step. Right? Does it not? I don't know. I thought it was like upkeep where it goes in the stack at the beginning of the upkeep. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it actually... Uh, you get to... Maybe I could have done it at the beginning of the draw step. I don't know. Uh, graveyard and top. So we still know you have lava coil in hand. Well, it said no. Saga's definitely triggered in the draw step, right? As a saga, after you draw, after your after your draw step, at a like so, why doesn't it just say at the beginning of your main phase? That's weird. That's a weird wording. So you have four cards. You didn't lava coil this guy. Fascinating. I think you're 100% countering this Vraska. You have no instant speed creatures that I know about. Oh, I thought I was getting countered. I'm so bad. <laughs> That's hilarious, dude. I thought I was getting countered, so I was just like, "All right, well, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pass my turn." Good lord, we'll pretend that didn't happen. Mistakes abound, but we're still coming ahead, so it's okay. My God. Okay, Star of Extinction was the was the plan there. So it, it doesn't even matter if we made a pirate; it would have died to Star of Extinction anyway. So I'm not terribly upset with that. Did we lose a land? Didn't we have seven mana last turn? What am I missing? Oh, it kills a land? Oh, wow. That I didn't know. That seems extremely irrelevant. I guess that makes sense. That's flavorful, though. Yeah, I figured doing 20 damage to each creature and each planeswalker was good enough. I guess, I guess not. Yeah, it's definitely a stone rain, that's for sure. My god. Mother of God. Oh, I like a lava coil on my on my dude, on my my pirate. My pirate. You can counter with Zuranorb. Oh, uh, I'll sacrifice the land in response. Oh, that's legit. That is a solid interaction. Pirate time. I want to play the land because I have no reason to sandbag a land here. We don't have anything in our deck that like forces to discard or we need to throw away. We don't have any jumpstart cards, so... Oh man, using all these lava coals on my pirates is just great. Just great. <clears throat> Vraska's ultimate sets their life total to one. Which is pretty good. This is a 15-14 Drake, and we're dead if they have maximized velocity. I don't think they do. But boy, that's a big boy. They can. What if they have fling? Okay, beacon bolt. Sure. All right. Well, we're definitely killing this, because otherwise we die. That's <laughs> so. That's how that works. So they have one card in hand. That's pretty good. Rogue optic. Have a good. Have a good. Uh, have a good drink session, buddy. Preach. Appreciate the hangouts. Always a pleasure. I 
I still have a box of brownie mix. I think it's brownie night tonight. You know what time it is. Brownie time. Let's play this guy. Uh, let's keep you on the top. Let's make a pirate. I think we're winning, but it's hard to say. You want some brownies? Yeah, definitely. Mail them over. Send them on over. Red Rover, Red Rover, send brownies on over. They are digging so hard. This deck sucks when you don't have any Arclight Phoenixes. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Once you once you snag those Arclight Phoenixes, they are done. And I like that in this uh, in this critique so far, like we've gotten to a point where I feel more comfortable with with the with the deck in its in its form. I think Death Death Gorge Scavenger was a good addition. I also think uh, Unmoored Ego to the sideboard was very very good. So. You have two cards. I can still put you to one and then attack, right? This is a sorcery. Might as well see what happens, right? If they want to kill this guy, that's fine. Because then it's likely Vraska could live. Oh, pay costs. Blanket. Oh, biscuits and gravy. One, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> they have 11 cards left in their deck. Yeah. One, two, three. All four shocks are in the graveyard. Yep, that guy's fine. They do have a beacon bolt, which they can use, which is uh, it deals 23 damage right now, so... Let's scry at least once, and we'll put this other one on the top. Sounds good. Considering all of their shocks are in the graveyard and they don't have any hasty guys, I'm feeling okay about um, surveilling here. <clears throat> My favorite card competitively is probably Cryptic Command. My favorite card uh, fun-wise is probably Mystic Snake. And we got him. Wow. Beat the uh, beat the Phoenix deck. The Rogue Nation Phoenix deck. Um, how do I know how many matches we've played with this deck? I think it's three. I think we're due for one more. Are we going to make any changes? Are we going to do anything here? I think Scavenger is great. I don't think I care about Rejuvenator. I think I'd rather just have something more resilient, like another Scavenger even. It's also very good against the Golgari decks because you can just eat their things. Uh, Mike is actually out. Mike left to go do... He had to do a thing. I don't. I just don't care about Rejuvenator. That's my, that's my opinion on that. Um, Look at this death gaze cockatrice. I'll name death G because surely nothing will come up with that. Oh, death gaze cockatrice and death greeter come up. I think they're going to be great in standard. You're like, nah, bro, six, six flying channel with extra ability. Isn't that great? I feel so vindicated. Um, so here's the thing. <clears throat> and I, yeah, I know it's going to be like me contradicting. It's not really. I think the card is good. Like, I, I don't think I ever said it wasn't good. I think it wasn't as good as like people were raving about it. I still don't think it's like a $20 card. Um, like, it's just a card you have to deal with, you know? I don't know. Card's good. It's just a big, dumb idiot. Like, it's just like Carnage Tyrant, right? Like, I don't know. Anyway. I will, I will give it to you. You, you were right. I was, I was, uh, less correct. <laughs> we'll say. All right, let's see what happens here. A graveyard extra card mainboard? Well, okay. One thing is that mainboard is not a thing. Uh, I don't know what a mainboard is. The other thing is that we have four Death Gorge Scavengers literally for that. 
for that purpose. Plus one for big dumb boys. Oh man, Siege Rhino was... Siege Rhino was uh, overwhelmingly good. You know what's cool? If we take a 4-5 Trampler for four and we just toss a Lightning Helix on it. That's a great idea. Broder GG, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. This hand is great. I will keep this hand. All day, every day. Oh, your main board is your primary board. Oh, okay. Oh, I just don't think we need anything in the main deck. Like, that's actually... I think that's a little too far. Um, Because you don't want to draw it against non-decks that don't care about stuff like that. Especially when there's so many aggressive, like, white and red decks in the format. It's like the last thing I want to do is draw, like, a, a graveyard card against them. Like, the... The scavenger is actually fantastic, and it was one of the first cards I put into a Sultai deck when I when the set first came out. And the reason being, it's because it's good against the aggressive decks because you gain some life, but it's also good against like the, the any any kind of deck that has any graveyard shenanigans. This is a this is a pretty slow match that's happening right here. <clears throat> Merfolk Trickster. I'll allow it. I'm not gonna cast that guy down because that's just dead weight. Hopefully they'll play a gin, a tempest gin. Uh, that's killable. So now we will cast down this, and we'll just Tempest... We'll, we'll kill the, uh... We'll kill this guy with dead weight, because, you know, we're going to... We're going to kill them both anyway. So I might as well do it the way that prevents us from taking two. Karakong, thank you so much for the 11 months. Really appreciate it, buddy. Welcome back. And play you. And kill you. And next turn we get to go Eldest Reborn, so whatever you play gets to die. And they played nothing. They played nothing, Jon Snow. Still nothing again. I'm intrigued. Hmm. What's your game here? Yeah. Yep. Never fails. <coughs> Four red? You want me to be a four red card? God, it's like you don't even know me. If he dies, he dies. <laughs> oh, that's oh I see. We're doing this old this old song and dance again. I get it. I kinda wanna hit a land here just so I can Eldritch Reborn without fear of spell pierce. Uh or dive down. Alright, we did it. Being able to Eldritch Reborn and get back Vraska is pretty OP. Really? Got to negate? No, okay. All right. We're doing it. We're doing it. Oh, no. We're not doing it. I see. Well, then. I wish this got back two permanents. Oh, man. Can you imagine? This card would be mythic. I'd be like, get back these two. 
I'm so sad right now. Why are these creatures so hard to kill? Oh, now we're just going to find Allie. Hmm. Lucky, 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 lucky. Not, uh, not, not where you want to be there. We're going to actually play this first because I think we can hit a land. Which will let us play both. Are you ready? Uh, graveyard. Did it. We're good at this game. I have no idea what that dive down was. Yeah. Sorry, I, I just think I'm too stupid to understand this. <laughs> oh, it's perfect. It's perfect. Seems like a perfect I dupes moment. E dupes. Uh, let's bring Ritual of Soot in for obvious reasons. All their creatures die to Rituals of Soot. Um. Take out one Braska's Contempt. Also take out... <laughs> God. Uh, probably one Jade Light Ranger. I like Scavenger because it gains us life. <laughs> oh, this deck is actually uh, doing better. Our, I feel like we have a positive matchup against the, the Arclight Phoenix deck, and uh, we're up a game against the Mono Blue deck, so... Looking good. Looking good. Ah, good times. My stir const is still out of date, so that's uh, something I need to go get. I was going to go to the doctor this week and get that checked out, see if they can fit me in. Listen, Doc, it's been a while, but my stir const is out of date. I can provide you with the server and client number if those help. I'm pretty sure I'm too stupid to understand what just happened and then I play the meme and then it's like oh that's what you're doing I get it I get it I get it <laughs> it's hood of magic online this baby can get the the stir cons so out of date yeah that's good these memes are on point guys <sighs> Seamless is asking me how the food was. Give me a rate. Oh, five. No issues whatsoever. Give them a five. The guy, the guy was fast. He was here. Delivered the food. The order was perfect. It was sent to me from a good friend while we were while I'm streaming. I like no complaints. It was. You might say it was a seamless transaction. I'm gonna mulligan here. I will keep this this beauty. This is a butte. A butte, as they say. Okay, so here's a question for you guys that I often have trouble uh, I often have trouble with. When you abbreviate usual, right? Like you got usual. Hey, that's my usual. But you want to say huge. I want to get my huge. How would you spell that? Let me get the huge. How do you spell huge in that situation?
The first Magic set I bought a pack from, I believe, was revised, but it might have been 4th edition. Huge. <laughs> there you go. I figured there was going to be a lot of Ys, Js, and Gs. No way, man. You got to say, let me get the huge. They're gonna they're gonna put a thing on this guy and it's gonna be real bad. <clears throat> Yu-Gi-Oh, that's good. You don't? Okay. Okay, well it's turned into a judgment stream now. Oh, they didn't they didn't carry a obsession, this guy. That's good for everybody. But mostly good for me. Okay, I feel like I've made I feel like I've made a terrible mistake by asking this question. Uh yep, keeping that. That's a thing that I want in my hand. I say my regular. Well, that sounds lame. I'll have my regular, good sir. Now you just sound like a nerd, Billy. Hmm. One regular, please. Yes. And they're like, sir, this is the first time you've been in here. And you're like, hmm. That is correct. I will go now. Let me get the let me the let me the donuts is what I say instead. So you <laughs> say, uh, let me the donuts, good sir. I don't think that's. Hmm, I'm not sure that's gonna really. Never. I'm not. I'm not sure that's gonna get the response you you'd like. Uh, excuse me. Let me the donuts. Oh boy. So here's something controversial. I actually think I like Pepsi more than Coke. It's hard to admit. I feel the judgment coming. Here we go. <clears throat> uh, I can't block this guy, so. When I called him, I didn't have to tell him who I was. That's awesome. Uh, biscuits. I don't care about this guy yet. I don't think I care about this guy either, though. Dang. Yeah, we care about this guy. This guy's fine. I guess we'll attack first. We'll see what happens. Oh, they're probably going to stick their, their merfolk boy down. Their Murphy boy, if you will. All right, come on. Come on. <laughs> wow, aggressive. Aggressive. All right. I think we're doing it. Wow, that's just rude. But now we get to play another one, so. Pepsi only cook well to yourself, but you're wrong. Well, well, dang it. I don't know. To me, like Coke has like a harsher flavor. Like I think it's almost like it's like I could. I feel like I can taste the carbonation more. Where in like Pepsi, I just taste a little more sweetness. I don't know. But I don't partake. I, I don't indulge. I choose not to indulge in uh, the coca of the cane, if, if, as, as it were. The burn says it's working. Or it says you should go consult your physician. I'd love to attack with this guy. I think they're trying to figure out if they're going to use a Merfolk Trickster here. Do I prevent two? Do I block? I don't know. I love the harshness of Coke. You got. When you say it like that, it just sounds like, yes, assault my throat. But also, here's the thing. Um, for the streams, or you know, mostly in general, I'll drink like uh, zero sugar drinks. So this is like Pepsi Max with zero sugar. 
um, whatever Publix has BOGO. If it's Coke, I'll get two Cokes. If it's if it's Pepsi, I'll get two Pepsis. Uh, sometimes they do like Sunkist brand, which is like Sunkist, 7-Up, Canada Dry maybe, I think. I don't know. Maybe 7-Up's not in there. But then I'll just get two of those. So I, I, I could really care less. I'm just like, whatever is on sale, I'll get. The stickiness from Pepsi. That's interesting. Did you try washing the can first? Because I think that's... That's probably a can issue. I don't know what's going on here. I think we're just, I just want to attack with my 3 2. Like, there's actually been times where I've like drank Coke, and if I drink it too fast without like kind of like. I don't know. You got to let it like. <laughs> it's different between like letting it flow flow down your throat naturally or like just swallowing really hard like it actually it's it's been like i've had painful sips of coke before i'm just like oh, that's a little too aggressive this beverage is aggressive i don't know what's going on i just want to i want to attack with my merfolk but they're not they're not obliging also the event list is gone why every day it's something new there you go we did it Love that burn. Oh my god, that's so crazy. What about Shasta? No. Chucking Coke is legit painful. It's weird. I'm like, mm -mm. I'm out. Have you tried a Coke float? Yes, those are significantly better. But you could do the same thing with a Pepsi float, right? Like, Also, Mexican sodas are better than all other sodas. That is correct, because they use real sugar instead of uh, high fructose corn syrup. Fructose? Fructose? I always, I've always said fructose, and I think someone made fun of me for saying fructose. It's fructose, isn't it? I don't know. Now I'm just confused. Battery acid is a beverage. <laughs> oh, man. Fructose. <laughs> I really laughed at the spelling there. That was good. What's even happening? I'm confused. There's no way this Vraska resolves, right? Can we just call it, I'm just going to call it fructose forever. And I'm going to call it sucrose. Hey, how much sucrose is in your beverage? How about how much dextrose? Oh, it resolved. I was literally going to F6 my turn again because I didn't think it was going to resolve. God, I'm the biggest magic pessimist ever. This game's over. I'm going to be honest with you guys. <clears throat> They're going to Rivers Rebuke here, I bet. Which is not that threatening, to be honest. Oh, they're going to actually... They're going to offer the concession. That's a little bit different. Anyway, if you're watching on, on Twitch, I'm not leaving. I'm just going to end this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I think the deck is in a... I think it's in a cool place now. One of my biggest issues with all the Muldrotha decks I've played is that I rarely draw Muldrotha. But I do like the option of having Eldest Reborn, Vraska, Ravenous Chupacabra, Vraska's Contempt, Fine Broker, Find Finality, all of these things in the graveyard um, to, to cast with Muldratha. As also Deadweight, another enchantment that you can do. I think Death Door Scavenger is just really, really strong right now. Um, the life gain's relevant, the exile card's relevant, and it can do it every single turn, unlike something like uh, Blood, uh, Blood Operative. Uh, Doom Whisper. Obviously, I agree with that. I think Underworld Lich is is just not as powerful as Doom Whisper. It's just the way it is. Six six flyers are really hard to deal with, and they don't make you pay four life if they lightning strike him. 
super strong. I don't think you need district guide. I don't. I just don't think it's. If you have twenty five lands, which you went up to, I think you're going to hit your land drops just fine, especially with seven explorer creatures. So I think that's fine. Golgari fine broker. You can also, um, you know, put things in the graveyard early, and then just get them back. So it's just like you draw a card. Um, Eric, hopefully this helps. Hopefully you appreciate the uh, the critique and the improvements or the changes that I've made. Do let me know and. Uh, if you guys are interested in having your own deck critiques, you can check me out on Twitch or on Patreon. Both of the the information is on both of those pages, and the links are in the description below. You can also check out meundies.com slash franklaport if you guys want 15% off on some super sweet micromodal underwear, socks, tees, shirts. Tees and shirts are the same thing. Uh, I said them twice. Lounge pants, onesies, you name it. And you get free returns and free shipping, which is another awesome perk. So please be sure to check that out because it uh, helps me, helps you, everybody wins. Either way, thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I will see you next time.